Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in Friday was the end of the All-Star break. Now we have the post-All-Star break for teams to battle out for their playoff positioning. Of course, in 10 short days will be the MLB trade deadline. Let's see what moves are made then. Well, today, we actually yesterday, we got injury news on three high-profile players that will be Coming back rather soon, exciting news for their fan bases. Let's take a look, starting with the New York Yankees. Giancarlo Stanton could be ready for games next week via ESPN. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton likely will be ready for game action late next week, though the team hasn't determined whether he will go on a minor league injury rehabilitation assignment. Stan strained his left hamstring while running the bases June 22nd, so it's been almost a month since he's been out. I just got to stack here a few more days, good days together. Stan said Saturday, if I get a few good days this week, maybe decision by make a decision by the end of next week. Uh, Yankees could definitely use Stanton's bat. No, he's not the same player he was when he won MVP with the Miami Marlins. Uh, but still, the Yankees really have been scuffling for quite some time now on the offense. Haven't gotten much production other than Aaron Judge and Juan Soto. And Stanton was still showing his immense power. Had 18 homers on the season uh, before getting hurt. Next, the Los Angeles Dodgers, one of the best left-handed starting pitchers of all time. Dodgers ace Clayton Kershaw will make season debut Thursday. Uh, set to make his first start of the season for the Los Angeles Dodgers on Thursday. Also via ESPN manager Dave Roberts said Saturday night after a 7-6-11 inning victory over the Boston Red Sox that Kershaw would take the mound for the series finale against the San Francisco Giants. 36-year-old Kershaw, three-time NL Cy Young Award winner, had surgery on his left shoulder in November. So the Dodgers basically have a whole starting rotation on the IL. Uh, Kershaw, uh, Yamamoto. They'll also be getting uh, Tyler Glasnow back this week. So great news for the Dodgers. They also have Bobby Miller in the minor leagues because he struggled immensely with the top ball club, and Mike Trout, no, this really isn't going to have anything to do with playoff positioning, the Angels once again, well out of playoff uh, positioning, but Mike Trout slated to begin minor league rehab on Monday, it's always great to see Trout playing, even if they are uh, nowhere near playoff contention, so MLB.com, MLB.com's Rhett Bollinger, and this is via MLB Trade Rumors, writes that Trout could be back in the Angels lineup before the end of the week. First step is facing live pitching at the Angels Spring Training Complex this weekend, and then Trout is expected to start a AAA rehab assignment on Monday. So uh, it's almost been three months since Trout's last game. Last took the field April 29th before suffering a torn meniscus in his left knee and Yes, his his batting average was way down this season prior to getting hurt. It was like 220, but I think he connected on 10 homers and he was either tied for the league lead or leading the league in homers at the time of his injury. So still at a well above average OPS plus. Uh, so three notable guys coming back real soon. Uh, two of them will play a huge role in their team's playoff positioning. Mike Trout just will be adding to his career numbers, which are spectacular. Um, you know, maybe once again, he can make the playoffs. Amazing that he's never won a playoff game in his career, but always good to see Mike Trout on the field. Unfortunately, the past few seasons, he's been very injury plagued as has Giancarlo, but Stanton really produced, was producing prior to the injury and the Yankees can definitely use his bat in the middle of the lineup. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications, I'm out.